Well, as far as the game goes, I thought it was a a, a loose ball issue today. Like a uh, lot of lot of rebounds, uh, kind of 50-50. I'm not even sure some of them were 50-50. They might have been 60-40, 70-30 in our favor, and we weren't coming up with them. They were a little scrappier than we were, kept some possessions alive. Um, I told the team at halftime, I said, listen, this game's being won in about an eight-foot area around the rim at both ends, and we're, 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 we're not coming up with the loose balls at the defensive end, and we're not sticking it in the basket at the offensive end. Uh, proved that a little bit in the third. But then I think we had a run of uh, at least four, if not five straight turnovers to start the fourth. And then we were kind of chasing it from there. You got Jordan back in there after sitting out the first game. What did you like from him tonight? He was really good. He's, he's kind of a versatile combo guard. Um, you know, plays the two probably primarily, but but we played him at some one today as well. And, and he handled things really well. So for his size, if we can keep kind of shifting him towards that one position, um, you know, again, what we like is it doesn't really matter the position as long as he can take it off the bounce a little bit and shoot. You know, that's what that's what the guards and the wings need to be able to do. Speaking of that, uh, you put the ball in OG's hands a lot again today to, yeah. to create a little bit. Yeah. Um, what did you What did you like? Where how's he coming along? Well, it wasn't. You know, he didn't get a ton of great opportunities. I mean, you know, like like with us, uh, the big Raptors, right? He he kind of spaces the floor and, and feeds off of DeMar and Kyle's kickouts, right? Because they're drawing so much attention. Um, so he's not getting a lot of that here. We're, we, we haven't, we've got a, kind of a lot of wing players. We haven't hit the paint enough. Uh, our point guards aren't getting in there and creating like, you know, kickouts for him. So, we, you know, I threw it to him in the post a little bit, uh, designed a couple other little plays, you know, for him that, that are more isolation, one-on-one -on -one type of things that, you know, he hasn't really done for us with the Raptors. But that's what we're here for, right? We're here to see if he can got a little post game and if he's got a little ISO game and, and all that kind of stuff. And I thought he made he made some nice moves. He made a couple tough shots. I thought he was unlucky on a couple of others. And then a couple of them weren't so good. But you know, it's it's again, we're trying to trying to throw it out there, see what it looks like, and then see where we take it from there. That's move was nifty. <laughs> yeah, it was a good great spin move. McKinney Miller and Mac uh, and Malachi are guys who are very familiar with your system. What what are you to take away from what you've seen from those guys so far? Yeah, I mean listen, um, there's a premium on shooting in this league and, and in our you know, with both our team. We need we need guys that can bang shots out there. Um, you know, that's always been kind of Alfonso McKinney's first, you know, issue is he's hard playing, rebounding, doing, defending, uh, hasn't been much of a shooter in his career, so we've worked with that. Um, I mean, Malcolm's proven that's kind of what he is, right? I, I, was, I was, to be honest, I was a little disappointed in his rebounding and toughness around the rim today a little bit, which is, again, a concern for him to, to be able to shore that stuff up. Um, and Malachi was pretty decent today, right? He, he's got a, a quick trigger. He's got some size. Um, we're really working hard on him with, you know, being more than just a, 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 a slinger, you know, a gunslinger. But, but at least he's that, right? He's got some deep range. He's got the ability to, to get shots off when the shot clock's winding down. He's got a, I'm learning that he's got an ability to, to bang threes out of timeouts, right? I'm running a bunch of plays for him out of timeouts and he's banging them. And some guys like that, some guys don't for some reason, whatever, but, but it's nice to have that and start to learn. And then you can, you can, you can grow with that. Yeah. Trick V, uh, Lina Sun doesn't play a lot, but what do you like about him? What do you want to, to have him on your team this summer? Yeah, very, very young, right? And, and But he's, he's uh, done a nice job as far as trying to learn, trying to play hard. Um, wanted to throw him in there today and, and give him some minutes. And again, I thought he tried really hard. He's just trying to catch up. And we only had a couple days of practice. He's trying to catch up learning the plays, learning the coverages. They, they went at him a little bit in the screen and roll, but that's what they're going to do. He's got to learn how to, you know, play a, play a guard coming off, get back to his big. Thought he did a good job, but a couple nice rebounds. He did okay. He did okay. The speed is the biggest adjustment for him. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure the speed is. I mean, the summer league's traditionally a little smaller yeah. in general, but it's just getting comfortable with the system and the plays and the terminology and things like that. There's a, there's a lot thrown at him here in three days, and and on top of that, you got to go out there like you mentioned, play against somebody a lot smaller, a little faster than you. So a lot going on, but I thought he handled it okay. Yep. Number 50.